Millions of dollars in funding for critical projects across the state are in jeopardy. At tomorrow's special session, lawmakers will try to do what they couldn't do during the regular session, pass a capital outlay bill. Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer joins us with a look at what it all means. Shelley, funding for highways, schools, the courts, as well as tax reform could all be on the table for this special session. While the past session was met with gridlock and bickering, lawmakers tell me this time around they're confident they'll get a deal done. It's round two in Santa Fe. Lawmakers are taking another swing at getting something done as they head up to a city different for a special session. Democratic State Senator Michael Padilla is hoping this time things are different. Mr. and Mrs. New Mexican should be, be very frustrated at the fact that this didn't get done in the first legislative session. And so I would expect extreme efficiency and very little debate. Three items are up for debate. Lawmakers will tackle $295 million in funding for road repairs, waterways, and schools. They will also look at how to scrounge up cash to fund the Department of Health and Magistrate Courts. Lastly, they'll take on taxes. KOAT political analyst Brian Sandroff says there's too much at stake for a deal not to get done. Because New Mexico's economy is so flat, the business people, citizens, all wanted the legislature to pass this capital outlay project. Republican State Representative Sarah Maestas Barnes says lawmakers are ready to get back to work. At the end of the day, people really need to put the party politics aside and do what's most important for the state of New Mexico. If they cannot put those party politics aside, it will end up costing you beyond those projects they failed to get through the last time. A single day of this special session could run as much as $50,000. The special session is expected to kick off tomorrow at noon. Back to you.